welcome to CGTN. I'm Yang Xinmeng. And I'm Lee. And we are here on the third stop of our Rongtang Highway Road Trip. This is uh, the ancient Qiang ethnic minority village, uh, which has over a th 2,000 years. Yeah, that's history. a long time. And I noticed you're walking along, there's all these like strange patterns on the floor. What's that all about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not just patterns, <coughs> these are actually their scriptures. Because oh. you know, Qiang ethnic minority doesn't they don't have their own words. So this so is it's how like they a picture words. language. Yes, wow, yes. wow. So we know that Wenchuan County is uh, one of the four places in China uh, where the Qiang ethnic minorities uh -huh. are. And are so they all so in them. Sichuan? No, no, no. Oh, not, okay. Not, not okay. all of them. Yeah, so here we are. We'll take you around this village. Oh. Ah, so this is called Xiang Red. This is like the Tibetan one, but the Tibetan one's white. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Tibetan one is the white scarf. This is a red scarf. He just explained to me that this is their highest gesture of welcoming guests. Oh, so I feel very honored. Yeah, very nice. Local villager here, and he will be our tour guide today to uh, show us around. Whoa! Uh oh, we better let these go past, right? <coughs> that was unexpected, huh? <laughs> so here we are in the village. This is the main entrance in the village. Uh, uh, so the village, like I said, the village uh, has a history of over 2,000 years. That's a long time, that's a long time. So the whole population here is over 400 people. Wow, and I see a lot of things to do with sheep and goats. Why is that? Well, we can see there are some bamboos decorating the wall, and there are some patterns here. If you want, uh, I, I don't know if but if you view it from a distance like this, you can see it's a gold. Let me ask him. Uh -huh. yeah, I know, I know something. I. Uh, Right. So in the ancient time, uh -huh. this minority, Xiang people, you oh, wow, sheep and goats, and they believe, you know, actually they believe everything has a spirit. Uh -huh. So. Okay. So that's why they worship sheep and goat like a uh -huh. totem thing. Yeah. Ah. Like here, obviously this is a sheep. Mm -hmm. Ah. Then this house, I think, is very unique. This house is all from thousands of years ago. Is it? This house. This house. Okay. 建筑建筑提高的有不同时段的，又走了一千多年，一千。啊，in uh -huh. this village is more than uh, obviously more than a thousand years old, uh -huh. and actually all the buildings, the outside, the yeah. surface is uh, piled by stones. So it's just loose stacked stone. Yes, wow. every everything stones, and inside. As wood. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So wooden stone wooden goes. Stone. Hey, I can hear some singing. Can you hear that? I hear. I can hear some singing. Wow. Oh yeah, this is the ram's head, right? Yes. I've seen lots of these signs around the village, right. and even some actual ram's heads. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I can't wait to see that. So I can hear from here. I can hear some singing. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to see what it is. You see that? Oh, yeah. These are also some scriptures here. Uh huh. 
，整个这个民族呢，就是以这种图图为主，经文，啊，就是图图。它是没得文字，都是以图腾为主。啊，所以 don't have their own words. They don't have their own words, so that's why they record things in this patterns and the pictures, like picture language. Picture language, yeah, yeah. Their history, the big things happened in the history. Oh wow! Yeah, and also everywhere the stones, piles of stones all over the place. Oh, actually, the white stone represents the god. Yes, white stone. They they believe there's a god called white stone god. Ah. And you we can see, uh, actually on the rooftop and on every shelf, the higher places, there are a lot of white stones. Everywhere, everywhere. Come on, let's check out where the singing's coming from. Okay. Go find the singing. Oh, it's not just singing. Oh, they're dancing. Wow. So, this is the Hong Kong Chinese singing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
so the whole, I guess the whole village will join in. Yeah. Oh, I've lost the rhythm now. <laughs> We're trying to get it. Okay. Got it. I seem to be going the opposite way to everyone else. <laughs> She's here. It's like quite tribal, isn't it? Yeah. So it's really tribal like chant, kind of, yeah. They used to dance uh, surrounding a fire. A fire. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they will put a wad on the pond. Um, so that's why it's called Huo Zhuang in Chinese. Ah, Huo Zhuang. It actually means, um, actually means walk. Ah, okay. So walk dance, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's carry on. I like my red skirt. uh, go go to you know during the war time uh -huh. when they will go go to war go to fight the enemies they will go through this, this tunnel ah uh -huh. yeah。其实这种门子，这种门子呢，它不是家家户户都会有，它只是有工资层，它才有这种。那么这个这种门子，它已经都是城市了多次大的这种，就这个门呢哈。So this this is completely original, right? This is original, but actually this is uh. You know, not every family has this door. Okay. This is like this decoration. There's something special about this door, yeah, right? Because, you know, uh, this family, when during the war time, they are um, they made they, co they contributed to the to the ca to the nation, okay. to the country, and uh, so this is like a reward from the emperor. Ah. So the emperor only gave this to those. Uh, honored family. So, so yeah. you see this doorway on a house, you know that's yeah. a honored family, right? Yes. Okay. Are we going in? Uh, I, I think the door is closed. Oh, so okay. Yeah, yeah. We're not going yeah. there then. And you don't want to mess with them because they, they, no. they won the war. <laughs> right. I see lots of this water, yeah. right? And there's like... So there's lots of channels and I see it like keep going underground and that. Yeah. What's that all about? Yeah, he just told me that all the uh, Xiang village, uh -huh. before they built a, a village, they have to have this water network built be before. Why? Because um, this is like an underground water network. Uh -huh. Like I said, the uh, buildings are built with fire, uh, wood uh -huh. and stones. And wood are... It's flammable, yeah. Yes. So this is more like a um, to prevent a safety the fire, measure, right? yeah. And you know, uh, they've never had a fire disaster before uh -huh. during the two thousand years. But also, you know, the uh, uh, felt, yeah, yeah, uh, the mud here, uh -huh. and also the stone. They are uh, scared of. They're scared of water. Oh. If the water keeps. Flushing oh, through yeah. the wall. Oh, yeah, and washing the mud out. Oh, right, so yeah. that's why they keep it underground. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I guess it also has a cooling effect. Yes. Yeah, yeah. A, I mean, it's pretty hot outside the village, and when we walk in here, it's the much cooler, yeah, yeah, because of all the cold water. Oh. Oh, is this okay. from the earthquake? This is from the earthquake in 2008. Oh. That is a magnitude 8 earthquake, very devastating in 2008. And this crack was left during the earthquake. Actually, uh -huh. during the uh, 1300 years uh, since this building was established, uh, <laughs> there there was several there were several earthquakes. earthquakes. But 
it went through all of them and it didn't collapse because Whoa. you know the special structures of uh -huh. the building. They have and the um, modern buildings collapse and these yes. buildings are still yeah. standing. Because you, you can see this one and also those uh -huh. two, they are connected with each other. So, so that's it gives why strength. they are side by side. Oh more wow. Strength. This is for to store the uh, rice, what you uh -huh. eat, and when there are when there's rain, it will cover cover that. This oh, wow. oh, this is a traditional. 这个这个就是我们这个传统的这种建筑它就是我们当建筑我觉得有外两重天冬暖夏冬里边带着气天好吗内外两重天的 oh, oh. Chinese idiom uh, like inside and outside are total are two totally different climate uh -huh. so it will be warm in the winter and cool in the summer oh, just because good. of the uh, the structure, the uh -huh. building structure. You know okay. there's no AC before. Yeah, yeah. Okay, before we go on, if you're watching any of our platforms, give it a thumbs up to get yep. us a bit wider out there mm -hmm. and see if we can get more people watching. Yep. Yeah, thank you for that. Oh, the temperature will always be 24 degrees Celsius. Oh, wow. Every day, 365 days all along the uh -huh. year, and there's no AC in. Uh, yeah. Wow. I also notice everywhere has all the couplets on the <laughs> yeah, doors. Yeah, I think they're so nice, yeah. This is... This is Oh, what's that? Oh, this is a traditional lock. Oh, wow. So, no key. There's as a hole like this. And, oh, there's like a peg, peg of oh, wood. Yeah. Wow. But there's no key. They lost their key. Oh here. dear. Yeah. So now they're using this modern, modern locking stash, but it's still left here. Ah. So he Now they're walking in. Oh, okay. So this is a traditional building from many years ago. They uh -huh. haven't been renovated. They haven't changed anything. Is this like a inside. meeting room or something like that? Oh, so like when uh, women want to do some embroidery together, when they want to discuss some things together, when there are activities, they will ah, gather here okay. to do that. Will they drink some tea or anything like that? Oh, okay. okay, upstairs. So he's asking us to go first because it's their tradition. Guests will go first. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is the uh, second floor, I guess. Yep. There's a little window here. This is from the Oh. 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 So so what's this is actually a window and this is the door to it. That's why would we have that? This is a, like a, uh, let, me, let me see first. This is like a uh, little attic. Okay, well what's the purpose of it though? Well, you know, he just said that every female, every lady in of the Qiang village knows uh -huh. how to do embroidery. Uh -huh. They learn it since very, very young. early age. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So like for little girls, about six, about six or seven years old, uh -huh. they will be here to practice embroidery okay. and they are very small in size so they don't know much room oh. so that's why they stay there and before they get married they won't be able to see other people uh, outside the family i see okay yeah. oh, we can actually see embroidery here in this room i already see the costumes oh 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 wow! Hello. Wow. I'll sit over here. 
Wow, the colours are so amazing. I love the colours. Uh, oh, it's the ram's blessing. heads again. Yes. yes, that's like their totem. Uh -huh. Nationalu is like their blessing. They can see, they can say that during uh, the uh -huh. morning when they greet you, and also say hello, thank you. You can also say Nationalu. Yeah, I see this ram horns is prevalent oh. in many things. It's also here. Look, it's all the, yeah. it's all the same it's horn, isn't color. it? I'd, I'd like to ask her how yeah. old was she when she learned this. Skill. When she was a teenager. Uh, and did she learn from her mother? Learn from his mom. And is it something all girls will learn, all yeah. young women will learn? Every girl grows up learning that. Uh -huh. and it, is it clothing they embroider, items of clothing, or, or, or are some of them decorative pieces? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, there's some. Oh, oh, oh that's beautiful. So this is like yeah. wall decoration, wall uh -huh. decor. And. and it's 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 Oh, this is actually a belt. Ah, right? okay. Yes. That's prettier than oh, mine. Yeah. <laughs> That's prettier and, than and mine. Do they do this when they're, they're just chatting? Do they sit there and just chat? They will do this for four or five hours wow. a day. Wow. And, and this is quite a large yeah, one. That lady over there is... Doing panda. Oh yeah, because pandas are super simple, like Chengdu, yeah, simple yeah, Chengdu, here, yeah. Simple and something as big as this one, because this mm -hmm. is quite big. How yeah. long would this take to complete? You to shoot this whole How long? One month. Oh, uh, it will take her a month to finish a, a piece. Oh, that's like quite piece. quick. Yeah, a month. Yeah, that's yeah. A month. That's, so that's, what do you think, how long will it take you to finish? It'll probably take me about three years. <laughs> three years? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't want to ruin it. I want to try, but I don't want to ruin it. Have a little go. It's so good. It's so... They really do it good, don't they? Such small stitches. I'm using a pink, pink thread. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just trying. <laughs> okay, Dan, she won. Okay. She said yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. okay. So go. Their stitches are really small, though, look. Yeah. They? Look how bright So like beautiful, colors. yeah. I, lo I love the colors. I mean, they're, they're so... They will draw the pattern first ah. onto a... On yeah, I wondered how they did that. But you see how bright yeah, all the... And is it, is it cotton or wool? Oh, okay. Cotton thread. This is pretty cool. It's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, they're so beautiful. You know what? Uh -huh. Our costume here are all handmade. Wow. The embroidery. It's the really, hand. really beautiful, isn't yes. it? Yes, yes. I like the color. I like the Amazing. I, I, I love it, yeah. Maybe we could we could start a new fashion trend. You could yeah. you could introduce elements yeah. of this into like everyday clothing. Yeah, I, Usually, all my clothes are black and white, black uh -huh. and white. I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every day it's just black and white. It's pretty boring. And today I have this on. And so I colorful. Yeah. yeah it's so, so I really cool. like this kind of colorful, bright. I think it's yeah, really good. Oh, 
So usually they will make their make, make their clothes for themselves. Uh huh. And uh, when they are getting married, they even uh, you know make embroider their, their dresses yes, and embroider things. Their yeah, wedding wow, dress. Wow. And, and is sometimes it their mom prepared that for them, but they wow. also participate. Help as well. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And is it something only women do, or do you have some men do it too? Only the women. Okay. Only the women. I guess you can't do it. Yeah, it's, it's probably yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, that's a shoe. Oh yeah. Shoes. Shoes. Oh, shoes. Yeah. Oh, my microphone's coming off. Just need to put that back. Building. Uh, for those of you who just tuned in, we are live at a uh, Xiang ethnic minority village in Sichuan province. And this village has a history of over 2,000 years, and we are inside a traditional dwelling here. And now we're on the second floor, we just explored embroidery here. Now we're going to keep going up to the third floor and see what's, what's there. Wow, these stairs are really steep. Oh yeah, these stairs are super steep. Be careful. Careful there. Mm. So he just told us there are some traditional uh, skills, traditional music going on here. Uh -huh. huh? So this is like a flute or a piccolo. It's amazing the sound coming out of such a small thing. The flute's amazing. Such a small thing, and listen to the sound. Wow. We good? I'm surprised at yeah. that being so small. It's so small. Yeah. Yeah. This is what? This is the song called so the song he was playing is called mm. Mehe Pu. Mm. So that's in Qiang dialect because ah. you know in Qiang language, me is what they call themselves. Qiang is me. Yeah, he is. Oops, my head here. 
-huh. It's pretty windy right now. It is, yeah. So he <laughs> means uh, happy. Mm. And ah. pu means play. So what? W that's what they play when they are ah, happy. happy. And uh, that sound when they have you know celebrative activities going on, they will play that. This is Qiang Di, is it? Yes, it is Qiang Di. We can see. Look how look how beautiful the uh, the wow, boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And this is ah, this is for try? you. Mm. You want to try? Yeah. yeah. But the but the the ends are blocked. It has a tree is from here. Oh, so the air actually the air actually goes in from here. It has a tree 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 from here. 我翻翻过去一点，这样子啊。啊。哎哎哎、你你这样子，多人民发烧这样子。哦、嗯、耶、yeah, ！OK。哎，手这里，哎哎哦，就是。So this is a different, uh, another instrument wow. here. I have to be very careful of my hands. Oh. 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 You never oh. stop your, you never stop your sound. Sure. You know yeah. what I find amazing? It's so small, and yet it makes such an yes. amazing sound. Yes, yes. It's cool. So you keep breathing in with your nose. Oh, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a blunt nose. I'll give you a little bit. I'll give you a little bit. I'll give you a little bit. Oh, that's really, really nice. Wow. He's doing it one hand. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, that's really, really nice. That's good, yeah. 好棒啊！哎，感觉它好小的一个，可以吹出来这么大的声音。您您要练这个要练多久啊？这个从小就要练。啊 ，so they started to learn it when when they were very very when she's very very young. So now I want to try mine. So what's this? I'm going to learn with this old lady here, old grandma here. What is it you're gonna play? Hmm. What's it called? This is called. I don't know yet. This is called what? You 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 do this is called what? So this is a 口琴. So this is a 
It's so windy here. It is. It's, this ruined Let me my hold hairstyle. That <laughs> nah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, so she also learns to play this when she was very young. It's called Qiqin in Chinese, Qiqian or Qiqin in Chinese. Uh, translated into English, I think it's more like Zhu's harp. Yeah, yeah, Zhu's right? harp. Yeah. I had one of these when I was young, but not this kind of wooden one. Yeah, it was just, a just listen. metal one. Wow. <laughs> here. Gonna give it a go? Yep, yep, yep. I wanna try. Let me hold that because it's you. gonna be a problem Hi, otherwise. So I just clip my microphone. Oh, I'm gonna play again. I think it's really, really hard because from what I see here, it's just a uh, wood clip here. You're going to give it a I'm, go? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to clip my microphone for, hit. Well, it's for, getting very windy out here, yep. isn't it? Do you know what, why they have this, like a hat? No. Like hat? Because, you know, Sichuan province has a lot of sunshine. Uh -huh. And when they work in the, in the farm, it will be very um, oh, in the fields, sunny. right? Yeah, uh, in the in the in the field, uh, it will be very hot. So, so they wear and, this. Stops to are going burnt, yes, right? Yes, oh, yes, okay. but it's windy right now, it and is. I think it's about to rain. I think there's a big storm coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I gotta I gotta learn you gotta this. Do this yeah, I wanna we go. try give it a go. Nai Nai, you this is how you use it. This is. They can oh, go with that, they can go with that, they can go with that. So I can't touch this part. No, you can't touch this part. 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 You can't touch so I put it in the mouth. And your mouth amplifies the sound. Oh, yes. yeah. I'm not hearing much sound coming out of yours, Abby. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do that. I'm still not hearing much. That's, that's my sound. That's my sound. Go on, let me hold that. Yeah. There's not much coming out. <laughs> it's amazing. How does he do it? Oh. I think you need more practice. I do. I mean, she's been practicing when she was 10 yeah, years old. Yeah, so she's, she's had a lot of practice. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. So, just give me one, one last try. Go for it. I feel like I'm embarrassing myself. <laughs> There's not a lot of sound coming at me. Oh, wrong side. Oh. Oh. Almost. Uh, 
，挨着嘴巴，不要放在里面去嘛。<笑>啊，挨着。I I I hear it. I heard it. It's very small. It's very very small. Almost. <laughs> Just a little bit. It's not quite as easy as she makes it look. I think. I mean, I can feel it's vibrating. Uh -huh. but I'm not gonna keep embarrassing myself. I'll just <laughs> give up. But um, I can feel it's vibrating, but it's really, really hard. I don't know how to make you know the mel the melody. Yeah, yeah. That you just how to choose the melody to come out. 啊，我们其实我们就是自己就晓得这个托起，就把音调出来了。哦、oh, ，OK、uh。-huh. So through the process of her learning,、uh -huh. they knows how to make the、uh, melody different tones,、oh, okay. different sound, the tunes. OK、oh,。谢谢，谢谢奶奶，谢谢您。谢谢。Well, it's pretty windy right now,、oh, and I'm just、yeah. really, really. We're going to be blown off the roof in a minute. <laughs> yeah, we are right now on the rooftop, and we can actually see there are so you know so many. Oops, oh, oops, oops. Your hat's gone. Look、yeah. at the amazing view here. I just, that is just an incredible view, isn't it? But there's some very dark clouds coming in. So I think we better get back inside quickly. Yep.、Uh, so here we can almost have a panoramic view of the whole village,、uh -huh. right? And we can see there are so white stones everywhere on the rooftop. They put That's it, the white stone yeah, worship, the white, right? White stone worship, everywhere, white, look, white all, all here. Yeah,、Everywhere. and actually, 那个很高的那个塔是什么？那个最高那个塔是哪个？它这是那个碉楼。啊。它这这个就是，这、呃、就几种称谓，其它就是东坡塔。啊、oh, ，so this is actually a、uh, Qiang minority tower. Ah,、uh, they have multiple functions. I mean, during the ancient time, ah,、uh, absolutely, actually, storage. 储存还有观望。储存关于传递信号，它其其储存。哦、oh, ，three f u 储存关于传递信号为一体。Okay, so it has that defensive function. Is one of them like a lookout tower? Yeah, a watch tower.、Yeah, okay. So it can storage things, storage.、Uh, Store stuff, yeah. Yes, it's like a storage, and also it's a defensive thing. Uh huh. You see, there are so many windows, small、yeah, tiny windows there, so they can.、Uh, Uh, oh, you can also、spear. shoot arrows. Yes, arrows、oh, and spears、okay. from the windows, and also, uh, 储存，呃，防御，还有传递信号， also passing the messages. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. because from what we can see, there are two towers in total、uh -huh. here, so they can pass messages from this tower、so、to that one. one.、Ah, well, there、okay. are from. What I we saw today,、uh -huh. there are four most important things, four most symbols of the、uh, Qiang ethnic minority. That's、uh -huh. Qiang Diao, which is a Qiang tower, Qiang Xiu, which is a Qiang embroidery, and Qiang Hong, which is what we are wearing right yeah, now. Yeah, the scarf. And also Qiang Di,、uh, the Qiang the the flute、uh, okay. you are playing、uh, right、wow. now. So we experienced all four things today. We did. Yeah, and I I I learned so much. More, a lot of、uh -huh. new information here today. Yeah, me too.、Mm -hmm. I, and I hope you also learn something new. This is a, a traditional ancient Qiang ethnic minority、uh -huh. village here in Sichuan Province along the Rongchang Highway. Right. Yeah. And、uh, so, thank you so much for watching this. I, I really like this village. Yeah, it's,、so、it's lovely. It, it is. I mean, it's such a relaxed way of life.、Yeah. Everybody seems super chill.、Yeah. There's no stress. Just, you know, next time when I come back here. I wish it's not so windy, so I can yeah, really enjoy、yeah. wearing my wearing my <laughs> hat. <laughs> yeah, I、here. think there's a storm brewing. I、yeah. think that's what the、yeah. problem is. Yeah, but I mean,、uh, with a wind, like I mean, the wind,、uh, the temperature here is really, really comfortable. Uh -huh. uh, enjoying myself、it's、right、great. now on the balcony. And you know what?、Rooftop. One of my favorite things was yeah this area, the cherries. Oh, the cherries! The cherries,、yes. just amazing. Well, this is the、uh, agricultural area in Sichuan Province. So now they plant cherries and they、They're、deliver really it、great. to、uh, nationwide to、uh, uh -huh. all the other parts of the、uh, of the nation. And they weren't able to do that before the highways, right? Yes. Now with the、uh, construction of the highway, <laughs> now with the construction of the highway, it's very easy for them to.
deliver the cherries to other parts of the world, uh, to other parts of the nation. Nice and sure, it's very yeah. fast. I mean, we came from Chengdu, and actually, if you order cherries from Chengdu in the morning, you can you receive them in the afternoon, in right? The afternoon. That's fresh. How fresh is that? Yeah. Off the tree in the morning. Yes. In your stomach in the yes, afternoon. That's really, really fresh. And they're super sweet uh -huh. and delicious. Yeah, yeah. They really are. So, thank you so much for watching our live stream. This is the uh, Qiang Village, yeah. the Dongmen Zhai, which means uh -huh. East Gate Village, uh, here in Wenchuan County, Sichuan Province. I really hope you can make a visit when you when you are coming to China, uh -huh. coming to Sichuan Province, to this village. And tomorrow we're jumping back on the highway, right? Yes, we are going to heading back to our road trip and going to our next stop. We are going to uh, Four Girls Mountain area, that's yeah. also in Sichuan Province. Wow. And I uh, stay tuned. Take and care. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.